Man, oh man, Usa, I never thought of, never, what, like, what? Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. Yeet! I'm your host, your yeet master, so to speak, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And in the immortal words of Triple H, it's time to play the game. So let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on in this episode. And we're starting off with foreign objects. Followed by, ooh, scary superstars. Next up, we got tribal chiefs. And then football helmets. And last but certainly not least, Piper's Pit. It's a pleasure for you to have me here, I'm sure. You see, being the expert that I am. All right, let's kick things off with a 200-point job around the easiest round in wrestling Jeopardy. You should go five for five here, and if you don't, can you really call yourself a wrestling fan? I don't know! And here comes the first clue from Foreign Objects. Numerous bad guys over the years have used this foreign object to level an opponent with one punch. And the correct answer here, what are brass knuckles? And here comes the second clue. This is a spooky one. Name this scary superstar. Not only was Matt Bourne a maniac, but he was also Doink the Clown. <laughs> I might have a little surprise for you tonight. <laughs> Moving on to Tribal Chiefs for 200. This wrestler's 1,316 days as undisputed WWE Universal Champion ended at WrestleMania 40. And the correct answer here, the OTC himself, Roman Reigns. And this is gonna be a fun category here. What wrestler is this football helmet inspired by? Now, I'd imagine this team would be called something like the Osaka Empresses. The correct answer here, who is Asuka? And let's finish up the 200 point rounds. This wrestler walked onto Piper's pit with Bobby Heenan and challenged Hulk Hogan for the WWF title at WrestleMania 3. And that would be the eighth wonder of the world. Andre! Whoa, the giant! Wait, what's going on here? What are you doing with him? Hopefully you went five for five there, and if you did, well, do me a favor, Leave a comment below that says, yeet, my dog. Why? Why? All right, let's kick off the 400-point round with a clue from foreign objects. This foreign object was shockingly used by Scott Hall to end Goldberg's undefeated streak. It all began with the Mountie back in the day and his stun gun. But the correct answer here, what is a cattle prod? And here comes another scary clue. Name this scary superstar. Somebody play his effing music. Who is Vampiro? And that brings us to Tribal Chiefs for 400. The tribal tattoos that adorned this wrestler's body were indicative of his status as a Samoan high chief, a tradition that would be carried on by his grandson, The Rock. And the correct answer, who was High Chief Peter Maivia? It's time to check out some more headgear for 400. What wrestler is this football helmet inspired by? Now, I think that this team would be called the Venice Beach Scorpions. The correct answer here, 
Who is Sting? And let's finish up the 400 point round. Perhaps the most infamous Piper's Pit took place when Roddy attacked Superfly Jimmy Snuka and smashed this tropical fruit over his head. You put the lime in the coconut to drink it all up. You put the lime in the coconut. Call me in the morning. Now, ooh, ooh, ooh. You want to be the big shot. You want to do all the talking. Love that song. Harry Nielsen, the correct answer though, what is a coconut? All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go, plus Final Jeopardy and a daily double. I'm excited to announce that we actually have a Pro Wrestling Tees store up and running. Go check it out right now, prowrestlingtees.com backslash wrestle trivia. Oh, he's got an extra small on. Ha! It's a double extra large, how's that? Ah! <laughs> And let's kick off the 600 point round. The most famous use of this foreign object was at the 1991 Royal Rumble when Randy Savage smashed it on the Ultimate Warrior's head. And that would be, what is a scepter? And we're moving on to scary superstars for 600. Name this scary superstar. RIP to the taskmaster who recently passed away. The correct answer here, who was Kevin Sullivan? And we're on to tribal chiefs for 600. <laughs> No, we're not, because it's the Daily Double. Think about how much you know about tribal chiefs and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here's the Daily Double clue from tribal chiefs. This sought-after necklace is made from the seeds of the fruit of a pandanus tree. Painted red for embellishment. The correct answer here, what is the Ula Fala? And we're on to football helmets for 600. What wrestler is this football helmet inspired by? Obviously, this team would be called the Ugandan Giants. Because the correct answer, who was Kamala? I'll tell you what, this Kamala is just a bundle of laughs. By God, he's done it all. <laughs> and let's close out the 600 point round with this clue from Piper's Pit. This loudmouth TV talk show host got doused with a fire extinguisher courtesy of Hot Rod at WrestleMania 5 in 1989. And that loudmouth was Morton Downey Jr. Yeah! 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 All right, we're more than halfway through, but things are gonna get a lot harder here in the 800 point round. <laughs> Starting off with a clue from Foreign Objects. This fragrance not only made the model Rick Martel smell great, but also helped him win many a match after spraying it into his opponent's eyes. It smells like arrogance. I miss your, your musk. Take it easy, champ. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Arrogance. All right, and we're on to scary superstars for 800. Name this scary superstar. <laughs> this guy's real name was Dewey Robertson but he went by the missing link. Moving on to Tribal Chiefs for 800. Solo Sokoa made his main roster WWE debut at this premium live event. And this is when he screwed Drew McIntyre at WWE's Clash at the Castle. 
Let's go over to the football helmets again for 800. What wrestler is this football helmet inspired by? I'd imagine they'd be called the Portland Pipers. The correct answer, who was Rowdy Roddy Piper? And let's finish up the 800 point round with a clue from Piper's Pit. In 1986, adorable Adrian Adonis commandeered Piper's Pit and transformed it into his own talk show segment called this. And that would be, what is the flower shop? You have heard it right here on the flower shop, ladies and gentlemen. And all of you, drive defensively and may the Lord be your companion. And here comes the main event, the most challenging round in Wrestling Jeopardy, the thousand point round. Make sure you have your thinking caps on because it's go time. And uh, yeet! Here comes the final clue from Foreign Objects. Shawn Michaels defeated Diesel at In Your House, Good Friends, Better Enemies after using this foreign object like a baseball bat to knock Big Daddy Cool out cold. And that would be when WWE Hall of Famer Mad Dog Vashon's prosthetic leg was used as a foreign object. Bashan, wait a minute. And we're finishing up scary superstars for 1,000. Name this scary superstar. And the correct answer, who is Max the Impaler? Finishing up Tribal Chiefs for 1,000. This WWE Hall of Famer oversaw the designs of the new title belts and is credited with suggesting the iconic Winged Eagle. I bet you didn't know this, but if you did, my hat's off to you. The correct answer, who was Chief J Strongbow? All right, two questions left on the board. Let's finish up football helmets for a thousand. What wrestler is this football helmet inspired by? I think you probably call this team the Michigan Man Beasts. The correct answer, who is Rhino? And let's close out the board with the final clue from Piper's Pit. The first guest to ever appear on Piper's Pit was Frankie Williams, a winless jobber who hailed from this Ohio city. And that would be the booming metropolis of I'm from Columbus, Ohio. From Columbus, Ohio. When he said I'm from Columbus, Ohio, we're rolling. So there you go, 25 clues down, but now it's Final Jeopardy time, yeet. Let's check out the category. The Monday Night Wars. In 1995, two wrestling companies squared off on Monday night television to compete head-to-head -head in a war of epic proportions. All right, we already know that you're going to bet it all here. I mean, you have to, but I'm just going to play this music just for the heck of it. All right, time is up. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. On one night in 1997, Fans saw this wrestler appear on three different wrestling promotion shows on the same night. Good luck. Now, due to TV tapings, live events, and broadcast schedules, ravishing Rick Rude would appear taped on Monday Night Raw, live on WCW Nitro, and also in some markets where ECW was syndicated.
So there you have it. Another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy is in the books. Thanks so much for playing and watching. Hey, check out these people on the screen right now. They're members of the official Wrestle Trivia fan club, and you can be too by joining today. The link is in the description below and also on the Wrestle Trivia homepage. My name is Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And I'll see you next time.